Oh, oh my god. Wow. Wait till you see these isopods. Oh my gosh. The isopod vlog. Hi everyone, this is Wally and Nanette from Supreme Gecko, and we're here to do another isopod unboxing. So let's get to it. Go ahead and uh, go ahead and open this one up. While she's opening it up, I'm going to mention that this is from this box here is from uh, Reptilia Exotica. And I'll put a couple of links in the description so you can follow along and see that. Uh, go ahead and take a look at their YouTube videos and also their Facebook page. We have a couple of uh, packaging materials. We have their, their business card here. Let's go ahead and show the business card. Hopefully that comes in. And we have the container of isopods. Oh, oh my God. Wow. Wait till you see these isopods. Oh my gosh. This is phenomenal. I'm going to go ahead and grab the camera and we're going to take a closer look at these isopods. Okay, take a look at this everyone. There's There's got to be thousands in here. Well, maybe not thousands, but there's dozens certainly in here. This is Porcilia sevilla, and I've been waiting to get this species. It's just a, a, an incredible isopod, very similar to the Hoffman Sagai. They get to be about the same size, and that skirt around their bodies, are the white skirt around their bodies is just fantastic. We've got a little escapee almost there. We're going to go ahead and put these away, and uh, I can't wait to, to see these breeding and getting us giving us some little babies. Our second unboxing today is from Iso Isopod. Here's our Facebook page. There's actually three different cups of isopods. Wait until you see that third cup. It's outstanding. The first two cups are going to be really cool, but that third cup is just phenomenal. This is a really good packaging of these isopods. We're putting away the cryo pack here and uh, going ahead and opening up the, the container and pulling out the isopods now. This first cup is Porcelio Scaber Orange Koi. As orange is one of my favorite colors, I'm really excited to see what these uh, isopods look like. This color morph of uh, Scabers has a wide variety of colors in it, from normals all the way to uh, extreme oranges. So it really takes a lot of breeding to establish those higher whites and oranges in this isopod. From the order that I place, it looks like we have a really good count here. So I'm happy about that. Since it's a little bit difficult to see from the video, I'm going to go ahead and post a picture of what a Porcelio Scaber orange koi actually looks like. And you can see why I'm very excited about this morph. We'll go ahead and put these down and let's go back to the box and pull out the uh, second isopod that we received. I got a great boxing by ISO isopod on these. And this second isopod that we received is Porcelio Scaber Lottery Mix. This is another isopod that has a, a huge variant in their colors, anywhere from a gray to a really solid orange, almost a, a lava orange. You see a, another really good count, and I hope you can see there's a couple in here that are super light, really cool looking little isopod. There's two that are grayer, and there's two that are that light, light color. So a lot of possibilities with this Porcelia Scaver Lottery Mix. And back to the box for number three. This is the big one. Can't wait to see how these turn out. Very excited for this one. So let's get right to it. Here's cup number three. Again, very well-packed box. And let's go ahead and take a look at this isopod. As you can see from the labeling, this is Porcelio Spatulatus. When I first started keeping isopods, this is one that really caught my attention. Probably due to the shape of the isopod, the coloring, it just looks so unique. In my mind, this is the classic isopod. Here you can start seeing these isopods, how flat they look, how very cool they look. Now, I ordered 10 of these isopods, the Porcilio spatulatus, and ISO isopod 
went ahead and sent me 12. So that's a great start for this isopod. Here's a picture from their website of the Porcelio spatulatus. You can see how cool it looks. You can see from the different animals that are shown here, you can see the lights and the darks from this isopod. Very, very cool. Thanks for watching the isopod vlog this week, isopod fans, and we'll catch you next week.